Hi, I'm Allie Dosdell for We Are Memory Keepers. I'm so excited to share this project with you. We're going to combine the foil quill with a cool watercolor technique. And for this project, we're going to make motivational messages, which I love to make to just leave in random places in my neighborhood, on my friend's mailbox, on the park bench, tape it to someone's door. Um, it's just a fun way to spread some cheer and um, brighten someone's day. You could also use this technique for scrapbook pages, for handmade cards, for your planners, journals, or even for a beautiful home decor piece. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is place our cardstock down on our cutting mat. And I am using the Foil Quill Smooth cardstock in the neutral colors. So I've gone ahead and done that and I've cut a 6x8 piece of foil. This is the rose gold foil. I absolutely love this color. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to place this up towards the top, which is where my design is on my software. So I'm going to grab some placement tape. And we're going to just put this on each side and we're going to make sure that it's nice and tight so that you get the best transfer possible. And I like to kind of push it down and then pull it out before I tape it down. And the cool thing is this placement tape comes with the foil quill kits. So you've got your everything you need to get started. All right, and see how nice and smooth that is, and that'll get you the best transfer. So once we've got that ready, um, we're going to use the um, cutting machine with the foil quill, and I've already let my foil quill heat for about five to ten minutes, and I've used this USB power bank. Um, and what I love about this is it's super powerful, but it's also very lightweight, so I like to even travel with it. Um, it's also got two USB ports as well. So I'm going to put that off to the side so it doesn't get tangled. And now I'm going to load my mat into the cutting machine um, so that it will foil my designs. So I've arranged some designs in my software and I use some beautiful designs from the floral USB design drive. Um, and there are a ton of different USB design drives that are available and each of them have 200 designs that you can use um, in SVG and PNG format to create your um, beautiful projects. So I'm ready to, to um, foil now. So I'm just gonna send my designs over to the machine um, and I'm using a sketch, the sketch feature. So you can use like draw or sketch feature on your machine, depending on which machine you have. And then it's just gonna go ahead and draw the designs on there and transfer that foil. So my designs are done. I'm gonna unload my mat. And now my favorite part, we get to see the gorgeous designs in foil on the paper. Oh my goodness, look at that. So let's get that off and remove the cardstock from the mat. Now we're gonna cut the tag shapes and we're gonna use the Works All-in-One tool to do that. I've already removed the stamping plate and I'm gonna pull out the arm and then we're gonna trim these tags down to three, about three and a half inches. So, I'm going to do right about there, and then cut some off the top. And what I love about this tool is I've got everything on here. I've got a scoring board, I've got trimming, I've got um, all kinds of things. There are a dozen different features to this tool, including tags, which I'm going to show you in a minute. All right, so I'm going to start with this one. Let me just trim a little bit more off of this side so the design is nice and centered. And then I'm going to trim a little bit off the bottom for this particular design because it's kind of a short design. All right, so to make the tag, we're going to pull out this alignment guide from the back. And this allows you to make envelopes to make banners, to make tags, to make um, all kinds of different things. So we're going to um, put the tag 
alignment guide up against the tag alignment guide on the board. And they're going to go in these little teeth here so that it holds in place so it doesn't move while you're working with it. So now we're going to cut the corners of the tag and we're going to place the edge of this along this angle here. And you can use these measurements on the guide um, to help you align this. So each time you cut the corners, you do it perfectly even. So I'm going to put it at one and three eighths inch. There's really no secret to, to which measurement you use. It just depends on how deep you want those angles on your tag. Now when you flip it over, the nice thing is, is there is an extension line right here. So I can easily align that to cut the second corner so it's perfectly even on both sides. Then what we're going to do is bring this arm down and this is where our punches are. And we're going to use the center punch, that's for hole punching. And you can do large or small tags um, and you can use these centering marks on the board to get your tag perfectly centered. And then if you line it up flush against the back of this guide here, that's going to make a deeper hole. But if you pull it out to the smaller line, that works great for smaller tags so your hole isn't quite as deep. So we're going to use that one. And that's a perfect uh, fit for this size tag. All right, now we're ready to add some color. So we're going to move this tool out of the way and clear off my glass cutting mat because we're going to use some watercolor pencils. These are the Kelly Creates watercolor pencils. Um, and we're also going to use the Kelly Creates water brush. This is a brush that's filled with water and it's a fine tip. And this is my favorite technique to use when you have very detailed um, painting to do. So if I have a larger um, surface to cover, like these tags down here, um, I did a whole background in this solid color in watercolor. So I used a large brush and I um, just used a cup of water and regular watercolor paints. But for smaller details like this tag right here, the pencils are definitely the way to go. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so let's lay this down on my glass cutting mat. And I like to use a, a solid surface like this that's waterproof when I'm using watercolor or paints. So I'm going to pull out a few colors that I like to use for, let's see, we're going to do the coral and the starfish, and we're going to do a couple of different greens. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do this set of leaves over here. And I don't really need to cover the area completely. That's what I love about this. I just need to get some pigment down there. So consider these pencils just like watercolor paint that you're applying. And then we're going to go back and we're going to apply the water. And that's what's going to get that really cool watercolor look. All right, and I'm just kind of circling that around and filling it in and see how fine that brush tip is. Really allows you to get into these little detailed spots and see the transformation of that color from the pencil. Just now it looks like watercolor paint and that makes it so easy to add watercolor. Okay, so I use a paper towel and I squeeze. Here's where you release the water. You just squeeze right there and then I just kind of get the um, color off. And then we're going to move on to a darker green for these leaves over here. And again, I really don't need to color everything. I can just get some pigment down on the paper. You could even use watercolor paper for these tags if you wanted to. And then I'm going to go in and I like to give that a little squeeze and get some water flowing. And see how that just transforms into a beautiful watercolor look. My favorite way to add watercolor is with these pencils. A lot less mess and great for details. All right, last we're going to work on the flower. We're going to add the darker red color in the center of the flower. And then we're going to put some red just a little bit around here to give it some depth. And now I'm going to go ahead and 
put in some orange. So this is kind of a pretty red orange. It's called starfish. And that's just going to complete this. This is just using these two similar colors really gives the flower um, uh, some texture and depth. Making sure I'm just getting a little bit of pigment everywhere. And then I just realized I missed a little spot right there that needs to be red. All right, so now with the brush, I'm going to bring my paper towel over here. And we're going to just work with one color at a time. So I'm going to start with the red on the inside. And then work with this red over here. And then this one here. And then get the red off and do the orange. All right, the last thing we're going to do here before we add our bow is I'm going to take the um, foil quill heat gun and I'm just going to dry that a little bit to set it. And I don't want to get it too close to my paper so it doesn't warp. So I'm just going to give it a quick shot to get that dry. And now I'm ready to add a pretty ribbon at the top. And I chose some of the American Crafts sheer ribbon. And I like that because it sort of echoes the watercolor feel, the kind of almost translucent, soft, beautiful feel of the watercolor. All right, I'm just going to tie this in a little bow. And then we're good to go. Now let me just show you a couple of the other ones that I've done. This one is a little more detailed and there's more colors involved so you can see um, how detailed you can get with that pretty brush. Um, and these are all images from the floral USB design drive. Some of them have the um, phrases and words already on them and other ones are just borders or frames and you can add your own words. So that's kind of a cool feature. So and these other ones all I did was paint a solid background and then I foiled over it after it dried and then I used the works all in one tool to make a little tassel to add just a fun um, finishing touch there. So these motivational messages are just a fun project to do to spread some cheer and some joy um, in people's lives and brighten their day. Um, you can attach them to gifts, you can just leave them in random places in your neighborhood for a stranger to find. Um, so share with us the projects that you like to make with the foil quill on our Instagram and our Facebook page. We'd love to see what you're making. Thanks for joining me. I'm Allie Dostal for We Are Memory Keepers.